Last time on Doki Doki Tropical Rain. You're trying to entice me into eating it, aren't you? I nodded. Well, it's working. Eat as much as you want. Thank you, Finn. She grabbed the chopsticks I included and began to scarf down the food. It was as if she hadn't eaten a proper meal in weeks. Well, that was terrible. But I'm afraid it's a necessary evil. Yuri is, well, my relationship with her at least. It's complicated. I never thought I'd say I would say those words, but it's true. Back in that library, I called her cute. In that moment, I completely forgot that I had a girlfriend. All right, Monica. I quickly opened the door. Oh, thank God she's wearing something normal. Of course, it's just her usual casual outfit that we see from the first episode and well, during the, uh, the, the festival. I presented them to her and she gasped. Uh, they're beautiful. She took them from my hands and held them to her nose. They smell lovely. Thank you so much, Finn. She waved the, her hand at her eyes. Sorry, I... Oh, uh, I, I'm pretty sure that's just uh, tears of joy. Sorry about that, by the way. I exhaled quickly. What for? For, uh, not really doing anything there. I just kind of forced you to go order the food. Finn, I was the one who told you to get us seats. I know, but... Don't worry so much, okay? I promise I'm not gonna hate you for not being some perfect gentleman. Uh... Alright. Okay, so... Problems with the date. Uh... The fact that my answer to that was, where do I even start, did not mean anything good. But... What was the main problem? What you eaten? Dry conversation. There was an aura there. It was present the entire time we were in that dang building. An aura of... Nothing. An aura of emptiness. I'm not sure if Monica felt it, but I sure did. The lack of feeling, that is. But what the heck could be the problem? So, what's the, what's the deal? What problems do people normally have in relationships? People get tired of their girlfriends, husbands, whatever. But that cannot possibly be the issue here. I've known Monica personally for, what, two weeks? My eyes widen. I think that's it. That's the only thing it could be. Uh, we hardly know each other. But that's not the biggest issue here. It's the chemistry. We don't have good enough chemistry to justify the short time we've known each other. Uh, so what the heck do I do? I can probably stick it out for a while, see if our relationship improves any... But what if it doesn't? What if I just waste my time and string Monica along? She loves me. But I clearly don't love her as much as she does me. And I... I am not in love with Monica. Oh. I see. I... I am not in love with Monica. I'm not. I don't love her. Upon saying that, everything clicked into place. Everything began to make sense. I don't love her, but... I don't know what to do about that. I don't want to wait on something that might fail, but I don't want to just end it. If I do, then I practically destroy Monica's spirit. She loved me for, what, a year now? I can't just toss her. But I... I can't fake love. Nobody can fake love. I can try, but... What if, during our special time, I can't get it up? I shiver at the thought. Glob. That sounds like a nightmare. But, ugh. I ran a hand through my hair. If I stay in the relationship, I'm unhappy. If I leave, Monica is unhappy. Monica's feelings are more important than mine. But there's just so m many unknown factors to baking being in love. So what the heck do I do? Uh, 
I pull out my phone. I didn't. I didn't want to do this. I don't want to do it either, but considering the, uh, well, the conflict going in MC's head or my head right now, but I don't know. I have nothing to say about that, really. But here it goes. I tap the contact and it began ringing. Hello? Oh, oh. Uh, hey, uh, Dad? I need some advice. Oh, it's Dad. Chapter 3, it's over. Oh no! Why? Oh boy, I am not sure what to, uh, to uh, think of it for this chapter, but we'll see how this goes. It was two days later. Though class, is, as boring it was, gave me a lot of time to think all over all of this stuff. So, what did I know? I didn't love Monica. Uh, well, that's about it. There wasn't much more to the situation. Though my biggest issue was figuring out what I wanted to do next. Obviously, break up with Monica is on that list. But I needed to be more tactful than that. This is a human being we're talking about. One who is apparently madly in love with me. She isn't going to take this well. Yes, um, it isn't, but fortunately, if time goes by and of course time heals, she'll be fine and don't you worry, um, even we do break up, we'll just stay as friends and we're just going to be stay as friends for an en forever and ever, like, really. Oh boy, this isn't going to end well and sorry if I sound really bad on that one, please forgive me. I whispered to myself and scratched the back of my head. I have to. I have to break it off. I didn't want to, but I had to. We are not meant to be together. And I can feel it in my gut too. This isn't some impulse feeling. Dating Monica is just... It's not right. Sure, Monica is perfect in practically every way. She's smart, pretty, popular, athletic, healthy. But that's why I can't be with her. Monica deserves so much better than me. Not because of my looks or my personality. I actually think I'm not bad in that department. It's just... Why be in a relationship with someone like me? Someone who can't return your love. Monica doesn't deserve it. I can't do that to her. Brun. Oh shoot, he hurt me. Have something you want to tell the class? N no sir. Aw, oh, come on. He put a hand to his ear. I'm listening. I internally groaned. What a... <laughs> what a prick. It's nothing to worry about, sir. I said through grit teeth. He shrugged. Well, alright then. He went back to teaching. What a waste of time. But back on topic, I needed to cut this off. I needed to do what Dad told me. Look, boy, if you're not happy with someone in your life, then remove it. Hurry on, my wayward son. Girls in your life will come and go. Don't think about all of it too hard. He may not have understood how complicated the situation really was. I didn't blame him, though. I didn't really give him a ton of details, and I sort of left out that she's been in love with me for the whole year thing. But she, but he tried to give the best advice he could, and that's really what mattered. If I'm not happy with something in my life. Remove it. Knock knock. I look up from my desk in surprise. Monica was standing in the doorway, seemingly looking for something. Class seemed to have finished while I wasn't paying attention. Monica? What are you doing here? Some random girl began talking to her. Oh, so sorry about that. Um, what are you doing here? <laughs> to be fully honest, I really never, I never really bothered to learn any of the names of my classmates. Oh, hello, Arisu. Oh, so that's her name. I'm just looking for my boyfriend. He has this class and I wanted to eat lunch with him. Oh crap. I don't think I'm ready to talk to Monica just yet. How can I get out of this? 
You have a boyfriend? Mm-hmm. I'm not sure where he is though. He's not exactly one to stand out in the crowd. While Monica was busy insulting my boring looks, I had rushed over to the room though. All this extreme, but I was panicking. As soon as I opened it up, though I remembered why it remained closed most of the time. We're on the third floor. Oh, there he is. I winced, but turned my head around. Hey, Monica? Uh, she walked over. Though upon getting closer, seemed to notice me with my hands on an open window. Um, what you doing, babe? Uh, you know... Wait, he's your boyfriend? Monica turned to Arisu. Yes? But he's so... Man, is it just insult Finde or something? Aw, <laughs> oh, come on, don't hurt me like that. Sure, I look boring and all, but not really because of this hat and the hair, but still... Oh, come on. Uh, I feel attacked. Go on. Uh, never mind that. I'm happy for you guys. He gives a thumbs up and scurried off. Yeah, that's right. Walk off. That was weird. I said and shut the door, uh, shut the window quickly. Monica turned back to face me. Yeah, it was. Uh, there was a momentary silence. It's now or never. A oh, glove, dang it. I didn't want to do it so soon. But this was the perfect opportunity. Everyone else had left, including that snake Kurusu sensei. It should be okay. The guys haven't been dating a long time. There's hardly any attachment. No, that's stupid. Of course there's attachment. She has attachment to you. Don't say anything stupid like that while you're actually talking to her. I took a deep breath. So, Ben, I was wondering. Do it. <laughs> you know, I just go straight with Do it. Do it. Look, Monica. I interrupted her. I can do this. I have something that I need to tell you. Her face gained a look of concern. Yeah? This looks serious. What's wrong, hon? Yeah. Monica. I... Do it. it. Monica. I... Uh, I have been having some trouble with my math homework lately. Do you think you can help me out? Uh, oh, that's it? Of course I can help. I'd be happy to. Looks like you have dodged the bullet right there, MC, but whatever. Dang it. No, for now, it should giggle. Let's enjoy our lunch, okay? I have a free period and I wanted to spend my time with you. She grabbed my hand and began to pull me along. I followed after, feeling my body grow heavy with the weight that is shame. Shame in myself. Yep, shame on UMC and shame on myself, Finn. Ah. Shame in my lack of will. When we were out, when we were out in the hallway, she began to ask more questions. So, where do you usually like to eat? I usually eat like the library in the roof, but we don't have to. The library. I answered on autopilot. Okay, then we'll go there. She gripped my hand tighter and pulled me along. Only after a few minutes did I realize the detrimental mistake I just made. Uh. Why the heck did I say the library? Uh oh. If we're going to eat in, li in the library, that means Yuri is gonna... Oh no... Yuri ate there! <sighs> Looks like I did an oopsie again. I am so sorry. And that wasn't even my regular spot. I've gone there once, and I never went back after. Where the heck is my brain today? It just jumped off right into the into the void or something. I have to make one life-changing decision and suddenly I'm losing my marbles. I wonder if there's any correlation. I rub my nose. Okay, we're here. Monica whispered, trying to keep quiet. Let's find the 
Is that Yuri? I winced. Let's go sit with her. Monica dragged me over before I could protest. Spending some time together could do you guys some good. Monica sighed. Ah, dang it. Quit making me feel guilty. I'm doing this for you. Uh, well, it was. I excelled deeply and sat down next to Monica, who sat across from Yuri. I avoided eye contact, as usual, but I don't know why. Maybe it was just because I've been doing it for so long. It felt weird not to be doing it, but I tried. I tilted my head and stared Yuri right in the eyes. Uh, oh, hello Yuri. Um, don't mind us, we're just having a good old lunch and I am completely freaking out right now. Please help me. Uh, oh, and now she looks great. Okay, this isn't going well. My heart began to beat faster. I can't deal with this. I gotta go to the bathroom. I stood up quickly and nearly tripped over my chair as I rushed to get to the exit. I ran out into the hallway. Yep, can't deal with this right now because I'm I'm Ultra Magnus right now. <laughs> After shutting the door behind me, I took a deep breath. Ah, glob it. That was completely ridiculous. Talk about an overreaction. I sighed for what it felt like the fifth time that evening. It's just Yuri. It's just Yuri. She's... He's my friend. What the heck, man? I fell against the wall behind me and slid to the floor. I put my head in my hands. It's just... It's Yuri. Purple hair, literature loving, shy Yuri. Completely normal Yuri. I sneezed and then shook my head rapidly. I need to clear my head. I need to forget about today. I can try all of this relationship stuff again tomorrow. For now, I just need to go enjoy my lunch. And maybe actually go use the bath. Monica and Yuri sat alone in the library. That was a little... What? Yeah. There was silence for a few moments and Monica used this opportunity to pull out her lunch. A bento box her papa made for her. Had some rice, some grilled veggies, some raw veggies in the form of a small salad, a few blueberries and raspberries in a separate quantum container. It wasn't very much food, but it was good enough for her. She also had a bottle of water. She smiled and grabbed her chopsticks. Monica. Monica dropped her uh, chopsticks in surprise, jumping a little. Oh, sorry. It's okay. No harm done. She turned to Yuri. What do you need, though? Does Finn hate me? What? No. No, 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 Yuri. No, no, no. I don't hate you. Monica's eyes widened. Where is this coming from? Surely you saw what just happened. He bothered to look into my eyes for five seconds and then he... Yuri wiped her eyes. First of all, I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything about hating you, hating you, Yuri. So please, no. Yes, I understand she's overreacting a little bit, but still, I didn't say anything. He ran away. How else am I supposed to take that? Oh, Yuri, Finn could never hate you. You know that. I, I just, I, I don't know what to believe anymore. How do you know that he doesn't hate me? We haven't talked. He's... he's avoiding me. On purpose. Well, maybe he's just nervous and all, so... Well... Like I said, I'm freaking out on the inside. I don't know how to break this off with Monoka, and now we're dealing with this. I... Guess I was right about Ultra Magnus. I literally cannot deal with this right now. Don't... She stopped. I don't want to. I don't want him to hate me. He's my friend. Of course. I just, even if he does hate me, why? What did I do? Yuri held her hands to her eyes, trying to stop herself from crying. But it wasn't working. 
she was completely devastated. Monica, knowing she needed to act, grabbed her hands away from her eyes and held them. Yuri turned away. Yuri, look at me. Yuri refused. Yuri, please, Monica said softly. Yuri slowly turned towards her. He could never, ever hate you. I promise, from the bottom of my heart, I know him. You're his closest friend. And he would never feel any negative feeling to feelings towards you. Are you sure? Monica giggled. Yes, I'm sure. Heck, if he wasn't dating me, he would be going after you for sure. Yuri awkwardly chuckled and Monica realized what she said. Uh, never mind that. But what I'm trying to say is, he doesn't hate you, let alone dislike you. Then, why is he... Yuri froze. That's uh, a little brutal, don't you think? Oh, Glob. He thinks I'm a freak, doesn't he? Why? What? What did I say? I didn't say anything about hating you, and I didn't say about you're a freak. But then again, I get it. You're overreacting, but... Oh my god, I am. Maybe I am overreacting myself, and I am not saving this situation after all, or whatever. Dang it, Finn. I am such a dum dum. Why did I tell him about that book? He doesn't hate me. Of course not. He he just just thinks I'm a weird freak. Oh my lord. He probably assumes I'm going to kill him if he looks at me wrong or something. Lob of my glob. As Yuri's heart rate rose, Monica stared quizzically. Yuri, is everything okay? Yuri stood up silently. suddenly. I must be going. A farewell. Yuri scurried off quickly. Uh, what the heck? She didn't even need anything. Really, Monica? Really? I walk into the room and notice Monica sitting alone. Hey, hon. Oh, it's the librarian. I can't. Not at school. Not again. What did a website say? Deep breathing? Count your breath. Count your breaths. In one, two, three. Out. One, two, four. In one, two. Out. One, two, three, four. In one, two, three, four. No way. That's not right. In one, two. Free. In and out. She flapped her she flapped her hands and held them to her head. She scrunched her face. She shakily yet quickly grabbed out her handkerchief. Then she pulled out the razor and held it to her arm. Uh No. No no. Not today. Not now. You can hold on. Think about something good. A puppy. A puppy in Yuri's head was smushed under a wheel of a speedy car. Aha! Uh -huh. She whimpered. To think about something else. Someone who makes you happy. Um, Finn. She put her back to the stall door and slid to the floor. She, he really does hate you. You... Worthless waste of space. Another tear ran down her face. For the second time today, she was left in tears because of that boy. You had one chance, and you blew it. She looked at the razor blade on her hand. She would never, he, he would never like you, let alone love you. Monica said he would date me if not for her. Without that, nobody would want to date you, you self-harming, destructive, egotistical b She threw the razor at the wall in anger. He loves Monica. Perfect. Perfect, Monica. She gets amazing grades. She's sweet. She's kind. She has pretty hair. She's... She's beautiful. 
She looks at, she look at her scarred arms, and so is her body. My dear claw. Another day has passed. Another day I'm still in this relationship. I had my chance today, and you blew it. So why didn't I take it? I need help with my math homework. I mocked. No, I didn't. I was actually rather well off in my math class. I don't, as I hate math. I needed to stop pussyfooting around the issue. I just needed... I needed to just... To do it. I grabbed my phone and scrolled to Monica's contact. Yeah, you said you would do it, but Palpatine is really disappointed in you, a young apprentice. Wait a minute, I'm not a Sith Lord. <laughs> or Sith Apprentice. I'm a... Well, let's just say I'm a Jedi Potter one in secret, but that would be a story for another day, wink wink. I held my finger over the button. Uh, man up. Man the heck up. My hand trembled. Man up! Just do it! <laughs> do it! Just do it! <laughs> I guess, I guess it's not just Palpatine now, but it's Shia LaBeouf. Or Shia LaBeouf. I pressed the call button and held it to my ear. Hello? Hey, Monica? Yeah, well, what's up, babe? It's kinda late. Yeah, I know. Sorry about that. I sighed. But look, we genuinely need to talk. Beat me on the roof at school tomorrow. Um, okay. That's all. Good night. Good night, Finn. I love you. Rosa. Uh, you don't have to say it back. I'm sorry. It's okay. She kissed onto the line and hung up the phone. I set my phone down on my desk and exhaled deeply. Get this, man. I shut off my bedroom light and crawled onto the bed. When did my light turn into this? Well, I don't know either. It's now or never. You no, know, it didn't last long. It really didn't. First, my first girlfriend, I didn't even love her. What? You have a great future ahead of you, Finn. Like I said, I know she won't be able to take it, but... As time goes on and time will heal, she needs some time off, relax, and talk, and we'll possibly talk things out, and soon we'll just be, we'll just stay friends, you know? Wonder how many other women will date and ju then just toss away. Was I making the right choice here? Well, I'm kind of conflicted right now, but like I said, I, I don't like Monica either, so... Again, I'm sorry, Monica fans, for breaking your hearts out there. But don't you worry, I promise. I'll make it up to you guys if I do play a proper Monica mod. I promise. Right after this one. Maybe this is still just the questioning phase. In? Oh yeah, Um, another thing, I'm not entirely sure if I'll do play a Monica mod after this or not. But again, just just stay tuned if I, if I want to. But man, I am really... Really putting myself on the spot here, aren't I? Wanted to see me? No more thinking. It was time to act. I chose the roof for a reason. It was so I couldn't wimp out. Where the heck am I gonna go? I can't run and I certainly can't jump off the dang thing. So, let's do this. I clenched my fists. Hey, Monica. What's up? Uh... Monica. Three, two, one. Monica, I need to get something off my chest. What's the matter, hon? You know you can tell me anything. Take your time, okay? Oh, dang it, stop that. Monica, I think we need to break it off. The world went silent. Wait, you... You don't need, like... Like, breaking up, do you? I took a deep breath. Yes, Monica, I do. What? Why? Uh. 
Oh, I can hear the Monica fans are coming right after my after my ass right now, but still, please don't crucify me or torture me or whatever, but still, I am so sorry. It really hurts. Honestly, I think it hurts me more than it hurts you. I am so sorry. <laughs> Um. Uh, oh. Ah. Uh, oh man. Uh. Let's just let's just keep going. What did I do wrong? Dang it. Come on. N nothing. Didn't do anything wrong. Then why are you? She sniffled and chuckled darkly. <laughs> Back on the roof, huh? Did you bring me up here just to mock me? This is where the relationship started. Why not end it in the same place? No, I didn't bring you. I didn't bring you here to mock you. I brought you up here because I needed to. I needed to do it somewhere where I can just run away. Not again. Again. Her voice broke, and I felt an iron rod go through my heart. Even worse, maybe a diamond blade through my heart and soul and my honor. But hey, like I said, I have my 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 loyalty to Sayori, but this I'm so sorry, please forgive me. Please, please don't kill me, please. You tried it before? Uh, when? Remember when I asked for help with math? She was. Just yesterday. Huh? She wiped her eyes. Well, can you at least tell me why? Or you just wanna cut us off? I'm not in love with you. Even I winced at the bluntness. <laughs> like I said, it hurts me more than it hurts you. I am so sorry, especially to you Monica fans. Oh, please, please don't be disappointed in me. Like I said, I promise things will be good after this or in the future. Still, I like you. Yeah, I only like, like you as a friend. I like spending time with you. I know it hurts to hear, but I like being around you, like being your friend. But I don't like dating you. This? I inhaled sharply. This might hurt the most. Yes, same goes to us, fellow knights. But I... I only dated you out of the one for a girlfriend, Monica. I only like the idea of you. And I... don't want to call dating you a bad choice. But for you, it was. I led you on. And I'm... I'm so sorry, Monica. There was a long moment of silence. So, you like me, but you don't love me? Not it. Hey, and you're breaking up with me because you're not happy? Not in love with me? Am I getting all this? Yeah. Uh. Well. Monique, she put her hand. Just give me a little while, okay? I nodded. Alright. She sighed. I'm just gonna go home for today. Goodbye, Finn. It was fun while it lasted. She sniffled and turned around. We're gonna be here tomorrow, right? We might. This is really hard, Finn. It feels like my heart is being split in two. Please, get me. I... <sighs> no. Just no. Why? Why am I feeling like I want to, want to cry or something? Jeez. I'll get over it eventually. Yeah, we'll get over it, Monica. Just take your time and... Yeah, I am so sorry. He deeply exhaled. You don't love me, but that's okay. 
I'm more glad you said something now, and didn't let go on for... Didn't let it go on for longer. I... I'm sorry, Monica. Please don't be. She said tensely. Be sorry. I don't want you to be. Nobody should be in a one-sided relationship. You don't love me. That's okay. But don't be sorry about it. I... He turned her head to me. I love you. He turned back around. She waved, and she exited the roof. Well, it's over. I don't... Well now, the door swung back. Wait. I raised an eyebrow. I need to know. She sighed, seemingly prepared for something. Who is it? Who? Who do you actually love? Well, who is it? Huh? They don't... Don't lie to me. I blame. Uh... Yuri. So it is Yuri. Chapter 4 Displacement. Well then, 